What's good guys, so I got some gameplay for you and this is just me and my boy testing um, the new Lightning Overdrive format against the tri Brigade deck and that deck is definitely, I think in my opinion, the best deck and then the deck I'll be playing is Ancient Warriors and I recently had a deck list for it so definitely check that out. But to get on with it, I won the roll and uh, I opened pretty good. Tanky for the starter and then Curse, this is literally the combo. Then I... As you guys know, I play Golden Land forever because I think that card's crazy. Setting that card up is just wild when you play Zoo or this version of the deck. Then Sun Mu, Sun Cursed. So, Imperm, but luckily I actually have an extender. Most of the time you don't have an extender and Imperm hurts. But it didn't matter in this case because Cursed is going to Graveyard. So, I'll be setting up Interrupts anyway. I could probably I could have Kong and Golden Land forever live. But have the extender so I can go even further. And I send Lord because I just wanted to summon Lord out of Grave to play around Ash because I didn't want to use my strike on the Ash if he did have Ash. And then double Dragon Lord, just add a follow up, which is nice. Then set three, We're like really strong opening through Imperm. And that's it, that's game one. Game two, he's gonna go first. And let's see. So his hands, his hands pretty bad. He doesn't have a play yet. So he goes desires, draw two. Usually this gives you a play, but I believe he draws nothing. Yeah, Bell and Karas isn't gonna do anything. Karas is probably the worst one out of all of them. He sets two, passes, and my hand's pretty good. Have a lot of good stuff in my hand. Same thing. I attack because I know that there's gonna be a real trap back there. Get some damage in, and then I try to go off. So discard the Conquistador. It gets Ash. Then I just set. Two, and I'm thinking I'm chilling and then end phase I do that the banish the conquistador now I have double sanguine set and then the twin twister which is unfortunate but it's not the worst I lose my judgment and my scarlet but my scarlet can now trigger and now I have a Ulrich play still so I have conquistador and Alancia in hand to his bell and he draws nerval which sucks because I think nerval and kit are the ones that get him out of this hand but yeah, so he's going to pop off and um, I have Conquistador. I'm thinking I'm okay still, but not really because he has Bell. And Bell main deck is pretty nice right now. Yeah, after that, I was just like, oh, I definitely just lose it. But I land Sia anyway. And like the thing is, game two and three, like uh, I usually side out the Ancient Warrior cards. So like I'll have less of them just because I'm not trying to draw the bricks in the engine. But uh, let's keep it going. And then he passes, but he has TT, and I believe I just play right into it. I try to use trigger the effect again, send a Conquistador. That's that's not live right now. Summon. Oh, he, he, I think he's thinking. Okay. Then uh, double Dragon Lord effect to add. I'm pretty feeling pretty good, but I know the back row's got to be real. And then I believe, yeah, he changed the TT to the summon. Both my monsters die. And yeah, that's rough. And like the thing that sucks is now my Sun Mu is... I have two Sun Mu's in hand and they don't do anything anymore because I saw, I keep a one... Uh, like the bricks, I'll put them down to 1-1 one, one when I'm going second. Which was, which might be a mistake, to be honest with you. But I'm just like still relatively new to this, so I don't know exactly... And I side one Conquistador out in this matchup, which I also think is incorrect. I should just side the Wakero out if I don't want Traps going second. So from here on out, I think I would do that. Because I didn't have a second Conquistador to set. Which, and he draws Revolt on top of that. So he, he, drew, he drew some nice cards. I'm pretty sure Re, uh, like Revolt's just going to... And then I draw Tanky. So like three dead cards in my hand, really not doing much. And I'm just going to lose to this Revolt. Revolt is so hard for most decks to play around. He's just going to get a follow-up, yeah. And then I, I believe I, I would just instantly scoop to this. There's not much I can do anymore. Just because that three dead cards, Wakero really doesn't do anything. Yes. And then game three, I get to go first. And let's check out the hand. So, Sun Mu and the Extender. So if this gets stopped, I can summon him and keep going. But I have Forever and the other Brick. See, that's my issue. That's why I've been testing out like a higher count with this. Because the other Ancient Warriors are kind of really bricky. I go Extrav. I'm like, oh, this has to just give me some trap cards. And then I draw another Extrav, Ash. And I'm like, okay. That's very mediocre. Ash isn't even that good in this matchup. That's my issue with Ash. So Sun Mu Effect. 
And usually people are going to have interrupts for this now that everybody's playing Ash, Imp, and like other cards out. He has Gamma for this. Gamma, he has Driver. But like when he activates Gamma, I'm thinking because my uh, my uh, extender can be summoned and I could keep going And if I, if I Ash this. And I feel like me adding a, a card off of Double Dragon Lord is better than uh, me passing on just Ash. Like I would have Double Dragon Lord and a follow-up. So, keep going, and then I ash it, those go back, and then I'm just going to add the extender, but he's going to gamma the extender. And then I special to make double dragon lord, and I, I'm thinking I'm okay right now, it's just one bounce, but he has three cards left to his hand, and I have a follow-up, but I'm really not okay right now. I set a bluff, and then he draws duster, and... That's fine, Duster eats that. And then Rat, and I'm like, okay, I could save the Double Dragon Lord for when he XYZ summons, because this is going to one-for-one one trade it against the Rat no matter what. He goes Desires. Draw two. He draws Ash, Call by the Grave. And then I'm waiting for him to XYZ summon, so he XYZ summons for Chaka and now I'm going to attempt to bounce by sending himself. And uh, yeah, that's what happens. Call by the Grave, the one of... And then Call by is going to... Uh, banish the double dragon lord and negate his effect very unfortunate he drew call by the grave but i do don't think like it's correct to play around the call by the grave so i don't know let me know if you guys think it was like if you would do something else but yeah unfortunate if i bounced i would have a better chance because then i have my follow-up too but it's whatever draw that then he has the full combo and i believe the game is just at this point like pretty much over but uh he's gonna full try brigade combo me Yep. Yeah. He just discards Fractal first, adds the Fractal, then specials it. And this is the power. Once you don't have the stops, this deck, once it sets up, it's so crazy. Shirag, Shirag's gonna link away, make Bear Bloom, add Keras, Apo, and now he's gonna add Bear, he's gonna use uh, Ferret and Bear Bloom's effect, add one, pull one back, add one, pull one back. And, uh, you, that's so shitty. Shit situation, Ash Blossom on my Extrav. And then I go Ash. I mean, I go Extrav. And then Ash, and then that's it. I can't trigger it. He's gonna have, um, Revolt, and you're not really coming back from that. So, I hope you guys like that, and, uh, stay tuned for more replays like this. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.